Hello everyone, today we are going to implement a hero animation for our advent calendar. So the first thing what we want to do is to build a grid view where we have our 24 doors. So let's just begin. So we will create here another widget, calendar widget. Back in the main file we want to replace everything which we have here. So I will take this and we are going to display the calendar widget here instead which builds all the doors and this kind of thing we just copy it out and put it into our calendar widget. In the calendar widget we copy this methods inside and then we want to build our grid view and if I reload it you see what it does. So we have quite the same setting, we have here only a grid view and a padding around so this is like what is the space here around. Then we have a grid delegate where we just say how much items should be shown here on the cross axis. So I set four, you can go with five or whatever you want to like and then it looks different. I will go with four. Then we have here this alignments on the cross axis spacing which is the spacing between these various elements every time and also the main axis spacing, which is the spacing between these lines. You can play around with it, so for example change it here, so we increase the spacing between these elements. However, we will just stick to this size here. Another thing you want to do is how many doors we want to display, so I have here a variable, we want to have 24 doors. Then we have an item builder, which is responsible for actually rendering all our widgets. This item builder will be executed 24 times because we have set here how many items we want to build. So we will get here an index from 0 to 23. And then we just build our door here like we did in our last video uh, where we built the advent door. And yeah, that's it. We just pass the door number here inside and then it is shown like this. Another thing we want to do is to change the size of the text displayed here inside because they seem to be large compared to the last video where we had like only one card or one door. So what we want to do is to go to main file and here we just go to our text scene where we have our headline. So I think we go with 42 as the font size and that is how it looks like. The next thing we want to do is to open one door and it works so we have every time the same picture it's okay. So what we want to do next is to do a hero animation where we do an animation from this image here that it is shown here in a bigger format. Therefore we are going to create another directory here which is called page and inside we create another file which is called selected door page and in this widget we will create a constructor where we pass an advent door inside and this advent door has a number so it is the outer door number a path to an image which is shown behind the door and also a title which is the text which is shown in the image I have another data structure here where I have multiple advent doors and here I pass all the data, the numbers, the title and every time the same image right now. Back in our calendar widget we get the advent doors index. So we will get the right door which we want to display later. And around our door we create a gesture detector. Gesture detector and on tap we want to push a root. So we say here navigator push and here we have to supply a root where we want to go so we will go with material page root and here we see what we need we need a build context and here we want to return the selected door page and we have to pass a door here inside which is in our case the advent door which we got before so if we save it we see we have our calendar door here we wrap it with a gesture detector so when we tap on a door we will execute what is inside here and in our case we want to go to a different page and what we are doing here we just say um, that we want to open this page up here which we created before and 
there we pass our advent door, which is the corresponding advent door on which door we tapped on. For the hero animation, we need to wrap our gesture detector around another widget, which is called hero. And here we have a tag, which we have to supply. In our case, advent door dot title, which we take. This tag here should be unique. And in our case, it is the case because the titles in our advent calendar are all unique. And the next thing we want to do is also to copy this here, this image, and copy it into our selected door where we put it here. And here we say that we want to display the image which we get from our door. And we wrap this image here also around with a hero widget. And here we just give it also the tag, the same tag, the title. The pivotal thing is that this tag of our hero widget here has to be the same as in our calendar widget. So we have two times advent door title and here also. If we tap now on this door here, the door is opening, but how it seems like this gesture detector has no effect because the navigator is not pushed. We have no pushing to the next route. So what is happening here? We have here our calendar door, which is this calendar door widget, which we built in our last video. And this calendar door has also a gesture detector and this absorbs everything. So this gets all the presses. So if we press here, this gesture detector gets notified, but it absorbs the other gesture detector. So what we have to do here is to take all this here out and say something like widget door is equals to this. And we want to build our gesture detector only if the door is not opened. Then we return this here with our door, which is the widget which we extracted here. And if it's opened, then we want to return just the door. So to recave it quickly, if the door is closed, like here for example, then we want to take this gesture detector and it should open the door, it should take the controller forward and do this animation. But if the door is opened, then we want to take the other gesture detector and so we return here only a door. So if we hot reload it right now, this application, then we press on this door. This gesture detector is taken from this door and now we think like, okay, this gesture detector is the next one. However, this wouldn't be happen because right now we have the problem in our door here that we never set the state to open or we never refresh it here. So we have to actually call set state here on tap and set it to open so that this variable here is changed. Let's try it again, do a hot restart. And now if we tap on this and then press again, the other gesture detector is taken. So we have this animation. If we tap on it, it goes into the next route. But we also want to have this widget here centered. So we go to our selected door page and center our widget here. And refresh it so it will be centered. If we go back, it will do its animation to the center. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!